In the introduction to this section or category on U-turns, I mentioned that I've divided it into two subcategories. A vehicle doing a U-turn colliding with vehicles coming from the opposite direction, or vehicles colliding with a vehicle executing the maneuver but traveling in the same direction as that vehicle. In this video, we'll be looking at vehicles doing a U-turn and colliding with vehicles coming from the opposite direction. The next video, we'll have a look at vehicles doing a U-turn but colliding with vehicles coming from the same direction. I also mentioned in the introduction that each one of these subcategories have their own unique perils, but there are a few commonalities between the two subcategories. Now, two of the main commonalities or elements to a U-turn are these. Firstly, a vehicle carrying out a U-turn or executing a U-turn has to cross a number of lanes. Now, that increases the proportion of danger. As soon as you cross more than one lane, with each lane that you cross, it proportionately increases the risk of an accident. So that's the one commonality between the two. A vehicle executing a U-turn has to cross multiple lanes. The other element is that of surprise. So a vehicle doing a U-turn normally catches other motorists by surprise because it's unexpected. Let's have a look at the animation and then we'll look at each of the real life clips which demonstrates a bit of a variation on the scenario. So yeah, vehicle doing a U-turn and just progressing across multiple lanes into the path of oncoming traffic. Our first real life clip will demonstrate this exact scenario. So we have a vehicle doing a U-turn. The camera is caught by that uh, vehicle. And there we go, crossing multiple lanes. The other danger is that because it has to cross the road, at right angles to the oncoming traffic, it now then blocks a number of lanes. So that's the other problem in doing a U-turn. So that vehicle uh, doing the U-turn now covers or blocks more than one lane. And so that provides less of an escape route for any oncoming traffic. In the next real life clip, we'll see two vehicles, in fact, doing a U-turn. But what I want to point out in this video is that of all the areas that one doesn't want to carry out a U-turn, unless you know it's absolutely safe, and unless you know that it's legal to do so, but one of the areas that we least want to carry out or execute a U-turn in is an intersection. Now, the next category or the next section of the course has a look at intersections, and it's unbelievable the number of permutations as to where things can go wrong. And you'll see when you go through that part of the course, just how many subcategories that's been divided into, because there's so many variables at play that adding a U-turn to the mix uh, really increases the risk of something going wrong. And so that's what happens in this real life clip. So two vehicles doing a U-turn. Now, no doubt this driver had thought that uh, this driver ahead of him was simply going to turn left into the side road. Wasn't expecting that he was going to do a U-turn. Also, the driver doing the U-turn right within the intersection wasn't expecting that a vehicle behind him would be taking a shortcut and also be doing a U-turn. So it's almost inevitable, inevitable that they've glided. The next real life clip, also an intersection, although the vehicle does a U-turn just prior to the intersection, but things can still go wrong even though he doesn't do the U-turn in the intersection, and we'll see why. Okay, so there, the vehicle traveling through the intersection, no doubt had his eye on all these other vehicles, so his attention was focused 
on these vehicles around him so that he could make it safely through the intersection. One wouldn't expect when you come through an intersection that suddenly there's a vehicle going to be doing a U-turn. So that adds to the danger because of the complexity of an intersection, then the drivers passing through that intersection are more than likely going to be paying attention to other vehicles within the intersection, not be looking out for what may happen as they exit an intersection. Here again, another intersection. So we've had a look at uh, what goes wrong within the intersection. This vehicle here is going to be doing a U-turn. Now his focus is on any vehicles approaching in the opposite direction, going through the intersection. So he's not taking any notice of a driver in the side road wanting to just turn right into the main road at the traffic light. So he wouldn't be focusing on this driver this driver here is expecting that he's going to be coming into the intersection and then turning to his left. So he's not in expectation of this driver doing a U-turn. So both are, are really unaware of each other. And as a result of that, they collide. In the next clip, one of the dangers in a vehicle doing a U-turn is that the turning circle isn't tight enough in order to make it safely into uh, the lanes that they're wanting to turn into. In this case, this vehicle has had to climb over onto the pavement or the verge of the road. And instead of waiting there for the camera to come past, uh, he just continues back onto the road again and then slams into the camera. So for the camera, when you see something like this, if you were the driver uh, of the vehicle that's uh, recording the, the video clip, when you see something like this ahead of you, then just expect that the person's going to want to come back onto the road without checking. So it would have been better for the camera to slow down, uh, perhaps look to see if the lane to his left is clear, which it wasn't because there is a vehicle that just passed him on the left-hand side. But if it was clear, then rather to move into the left-hand lane to allow the vehicle to come back onto the road. And uh, so always being aware, be, be aware of uh, a situation such as this. Rather hang back and allow a person a bit of space instead of landing up uh, in a collision situation because that's going to cost you more time instead of just uh, perhaps slowing down, giving a few more seconds to uh, the driver that's ahead of you. So something similar to the previous clip, excepting that the pavement's not really mountable. So for this vehicle doing the U-turn, he now gets stuck uh, within the lane and so is blocking any oncoming traffic. And so that results in a collision. So look out for a vehicle doing a U-turn where it's too narrow for the vehicle to actually be able to turn safely into the lane. So this vehicle gets stuck uh, just before the uh, the pavement or the verge and so is a, a block to the oncoming traffic. In our next clip, and this is something also to be aware of, when you see a vehicle doing a U-turn, don't expect that the vehicle wants the, the drive has turned to stay in the lane. And we'll see now in this clip that after turning, instead of staying in this lane or even moving to the side of the road to allow this oncoming traffic to pass. Instead, he now turns back into the left-hand lane. And so that's even more unexpected than doing the U-turn in the first place. In this next clip, we've got another variation. Uh, the driver in front of the camera this black vehicle also does a U-turn, but in order to try and make the turning circle, he first goes off to his right. So he turns to his right. The camera thinks he's just pulling off to the side of the road, proceeds further. In the meantime, he's only going into the right-hand lane, so he can increase his turning circle 
in order to make a U-turn and they collide. I'm just going to go back a section there. Because for the camera, if he was alert and observant, he would notice that when this vehicle moves off into the right-hand lane, that he's not doing so because he's wanting to pull off to the side of the road. There, there are no parking spots or shoulder there for him to suddenly make a turn to the right. It's not a side road that he's entering into. Also, when he does so, He's slowing down, so that indicates he's up to something. So the camera should have rather held back. Uh, where you see something like this, a vehicle suddenly makes a turn in one direction, uh, then expect that they're not going to stay there. They may be doing this for another reason, say so in this case, uh, wanting to do a U-turn. So this should have been a, a red flag to the camera to actually hold back. In this next clip, we'll see, just in the distance, a vehicle doing a U-turn. But just to show you something as we advance the video, so there we go, the vehicle has done the U-turn. Now he finds, to his surprise, that he's very close to an oncoming vehicle, and so tries to accelerate uh, to try and get out of the path of that vehicle that's quickly approaching him. But notice what happens. So as he accelerates, now he doesn't get to straighten out his wheels in time and so he turns back into uh, this lane and collides with the vehicle. So if we're accelerating in a turn, it's much harder to straighten out our wheels and so that's what happens to this driver. He accelerates and then finds that he can't straighten his wheels out in time. In this next clip, which is the last clip in this instructional video, uh, there's actually a vehicle which is not noticeable at this point, uh, but the vehicle's just behind these vehicles that's wanting to do a U-turn. Now the camera, if you just go back a few frames, you'll see that the camera came off the side of the road here. So it could be that the driver uh, that's about to do the U-turn had waited, noticed that there's no oncoming traffic, and then decided to do the U-turn. In the meantime, during the time that his visibility was blocked, another vehicle then entered the opposite lane. And so he wasn't probably expecting this vehicle to come down the lane. As I say, maybe he had checked prior to that and saw that it was clear. But from the camera's perspective, he doesn't see any vehicles because of these vehicles wanting to do a U-turn. So he just uh, goes ahead as one would expect. Uh, but they'll end up colliding. So it would be hard to try and predict a situation like this, but if we've trained ourselves uh, through the course to try and anticipate that things go wrong, so we always have an expectation that something is going to crop up, uh, always think that there can be vehicles approaching uh, from a direction that we're not expecting, and especially when it's U-turns, as I mentioned, it's an unexpected event. So if we are aware and prepared for something like that going wrong, well then that will buy us that second or fraction of a second advantage to be able to respond accordingly. Obviously the camera was totally oblivious, not in expectation of things going wrong, and so his reaction times were a lot slower.
please like, subscribe, and get notified.